This is Ki Hui Kwan. He was a rising child star in the 80s, then Hollywood forgot about him. Now, nearly 40 years later, he's making a comeback worthy of the big screen. Not good enough. Thank you! Not tall enough. I blame myself. I thought everybody had, for- had forgotten about me. Born in Vietnam in 1971, he and his family fled the country when he was just seven years old, arriving in Hong Kong where they would spend a year in a refugee camp. I was so young, I didn't understand why we gave up the place we called home to get on a boat in the middle of the night with 3,000 people. In 1979, his family emigrated to the United States. In 1983, he went to a casting call with his brother, but ended up being the one who was noticed by the casting director. The next day, he was called back to meet the film's director, the legendary Steven Spielberg. And, uh, and my mom thought, you know, her Hollywood, her famous director, so she put me in this three-piece suit. Steven came out, <laughs> saw how, how uncomfortable I was, uh-huh. gave me the biggest hug, and says, Key, I want you to come back next day, but wear something comfortable. Three weeks later, he flew to Sri Lanka with his mother and started shooting Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Short round, step on it. Okie dokie, Dr. Jones, hold on to your potato. At 14, he co-starred in the cult classic The Goonies, becoming one of the most well-known child actors of his generation. And then, his phone slowly stopped ringing. For 35 years, he only had a handful of acting roles in film and TV. In my late teens and my early 20s, when when it was extremely difficult for me to get a job, uh, I never blamed anybody. Uh, I, I, I thought I was not good enough. I thought I was not tall enough. I thought I was not good looking enough. I thought I, you know, my, perhaps my acting you know, wasn't good enough. And that's why I wasn't landing these roles. Hollywood writers were just not writing roles for for Asian actors. Finding it difficult to get acting roles, he took a job behind the scenes as a stunt coordinator, working on the 2000 film X-Men and 2004's 2046. In 2018, inspired by the success of Crazy Rich Asians, he decided to get an agent. And I had serious FOMO. When I saw so many the entire cast made up of Asian actors. Mm -hmm. And I go, wow, I wish I was up there with them. And so the idea of getting back into acting, that's where it started. Just two weeks after securing an agent, Kwan was asked to audition for the role of Wayman Wong in Daniel Kwan's Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. For the longest time, you know, the the only, you know, I I said this before, where the characters, you know, that I went up for, it's only, it didn't have a character name. It only lasted a page or two on the script. So this was very thrilling to to, to read. And I thought this role was written for me. The film premiered in March 2022 at the South by Southwest Festival to resounding critical acclaim. For this role, Kwan dominated award season, receiving the Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actor. All I wanted to when I decided to get back into acting was just a job. And everything that has happened since our movie came out has been incredible beyond anything I could have ever imagined. 